Hey guys, what's happening? So today we're going to talk about some apps which will help you be more productive or extend the time that you are productive for. Now, these are not some of like the common apps that you've heard before. I can guarantee at least one of these apps will be the first time you're hearing about. So what are we waiting for? This is Gorang. You're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. Now, productivity is all about doing the most amount of work possible within a specific period of time. Now, if there is one app which is able to manage your notes, manage your to-dos, manage your calendar, and manage every thought that comes to your head, well, I don't think there is a better step towards increasing your productivity than that. And that's where my brain comes in. My brain is an open source productivity app that combines the features of tasks, notes, calendars, diary, and bookmarks all in one. Think of it like Notion, but just a different style, and also an open source code. What that means is all of your data will be private and secure, and the app will not even require you to give it the permission to access the internet. In terms of notes, you have support for headers, markdowns, and much more. You can also organize your to-do with various parameters such as priority, subtask, etc. There's also the bookmarks feature to save links for later. And further along the lines of apps that can do multiple things in order to maximize your productivity, we have Tubo. It is an app that essentially converts your email into a to-do list. And it also provides you the facility of making notes and checking your calendar all through one single app. The main inbox shows your upcoming events on the calendar and under the to-do section, you will find all your emails that have not been replied to. Once the email is opened, read, it is treated as a to-do completed. If you still have work for the email, you can mark it as unread and it will still remain there. You can also make notes inside the app for jotting down quick thoughts, making tables, creating a checklist or a to-do list and set reminders. If those quick thoughts are potential draft emails, you can directly email that note as well or share it through a link. The app also scans your inbox for low priority emails emails which do not require an urgent action from you. Along with that, it also scans emails that you can be unsubscribed from and adds them to a section where it can be done with a single tap. And all of these great features come packaged in a well-designed app which looks good and works smoothly. And the app supports Google and Microsoft based IDs for now. All right, now let's shift gear to something that is much more minimal. Because for a lot of people, an app that performs a lot of different functions does not always boost their productivity. Now, if you just want an app that helps you manage all your tasks throughout the week, well, we have Tweak for it. Tweak is a very minimal yet an extremely good looking app which will help you list out all of your tasks for the week from Monday to Sunday. It shows all of the seven dates of the week and you can tap anywhere under each day to add a task for the day. You can simply check it off and complete it or tap and hold on it to drag it to the next day. You can tap on the arrows up in the corner to add tasks for the next week. And as for tasks which you do not have a specific date in mind, you can add those under the someday section. That's the simplicity of an app when you use it for free. But if you want to add complications like adding subtasks, reminders, connecting it with your calendar, or even something simple as enabling dark mode, well, you will have to subscribe to it. Okay, so this next app that we're gonna talk about is providing you the quickest possible access to your notes and to-dos. The name of the app is Idea Note, and the use case is pretty simple. Now, multiple OEMs provide you these menus which can be accessed quickly from a swipe from the edge of the screen. Imagine that, but for your notes and your to-dos. After installing the app and giving it the necessary permissions, all you need to do is swipe in from the edge of the screen and all your notes will appear. There is a bar at the bottom to create a new note by typing it. You can also expand the notes from the same screen or launch the app itself. Inside the app, you can add formatting to these notes, you can add images, or you can just sync them across all devices by making an account. And hence, all of your notes will always be just a swipe away. Moving on, are you familiar with the Pomodoro technique? Well, it's a way of working where you work without any distractions, with complete focus for 25 minutes, and then you take a five minute break and you repeat this process four times, followed by which is a 15 minute break, which ends this entire cycle. Now, there are a lot of people who get all of their work done through this technique every day. Now, if you are one of those people, or if you are someone who wants to be one of those people, I have an interesting app for you. Now, this is a web app called Pomtify, and it does exactly what the name suggests. It combines the Pomodoro technique with Spotify SQ. Just open Pomtify.com on any browser and connect your Spotify to it. And from there on, whenever you start the timer, music will start playing from Spotify. When the timer reaches 25 minutes, you will hear a ring and the music will be paused. 
After that, when the break timer reaches 5 minutes, the music will start playing again after the ring, telling you to get back to your work. The progress of the entire cycle will be visible in the bar at the top and all of the playback controls appear at the bottom. It does need a few permissions on Spotify to work properly. Now the next app that I'm going to talk about is not a productivity app per se, but it's an app which helps you be more productive for a longer time. This app is called Stretchminder and its job is to just make sure that you move, that you remain active throughout the day and the fatigue of just sitting on your desk for the entire day does not bother you or does not affect you. Using the app, you can squeeze in small workouts into minor breaks you take while working. You can set a timer of 30 minutes or 60 minutes. After the timer ends, you will be prompted to do any of the suggested guided workouts which bring a bit of mobility to your body. You select the duration for the break and it will accordingly show you the guided workout. The app sets a target for breaks depending on your working hours which is tracked over time to motivate you to meet the target every day. And now this next app is again an app which will increase your productivity by not being a productivity app per se. It's a launcher and it's called the Decluttered Launcher. And as the name suggests, it will declutter your phone in order to make sure that you are not distracted and you remain focused on your work. The launcher basically removes your wallpaper, app drawer and status bar from your home screen. It minimalizes your phone down to the very basics. You do not get any app icons just the names. You can swipe left or right to quickly access your most used apps. Plus, four apps can be pinned onto the home screen. Swiping up takes you to the app search. Swiping down takes you to the Google search. Hence, if you have been looking to make your phone less distracting, the decluttered launcher will be the way to go. And that's pretty much it. The links for all of these apps will be down in the description box. And if you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the red subscribe button. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gorang and I'll see you in the next one.